Hello, this is Keith from uh, Appliance Factory Mattress Kingdom, the technician. Um, wanted to come to you and give you some little information on how to swap out and change these if you want to. If you look over here, you can see all the possible colors. Now, if you're in the mood to change for the seasons, they have multiple panels you can get. But well, we're going to show you how to do it properly. Okay, now, there's a couple tools you're going to need. I'd recommend a small flathead or you can even use a normal flathead. It really doesn't matter, but you can use either one, okay? Now, if you look up here, I've got a little clip here and a little clip here. That is what's holding these in. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna pop them up, okay? And I'm gonna pull them out. Make sure you don't lose these, because if you don't lose those, there's a very good chance it's not gonna stay in there permanently. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. Pop it up, pop it up, pop it out, okay? Now, now we're done. Now, make sure you close the door. It makes it a little bit easier on you. Now, if we did our job correctly and took them out, you're going to want to use one of these. This is it's a little suction cup. Okay, you can get these at any auto parts store that have in the body section. Okay, the reason I say that is some of you will be tempted to use something like this. You do not want anything sharp and thin around your thing because if I start jamming this in there. I'm probably going to damage my appliance. We don't want to use that. Go to the store, buy one of these if you're going to do this, okay? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to top, half, top third of my thing, I'm going to put my suction cup on there, okay? And I'm going to pull, and I'm going to lift. Voila, that's all it is, okay? And now, whichever color I wanted to use, I could then put back in. And we basically do it the same way. You set it in there, okay? And set it up okay make sure it goes in okay give it a little you know loving love taps on it okay maybe not that hard but tap it back in make sure it's going in all the way okay there's a groove it goes into okay and then we come back up on top here okay and I mean gentle love taps okay not like you're trying to kick a soccer ball into the next city. And then these just pop in. Okay, they pop in and you're done. And the bottom, the same way. Okay, release that, slide that up, you're done. Okay, the bottom, little more difficult, but actually quite a bit easy. And you ask, how can you say that? Because you can't see what you're doing, okay? Fortunately, I'm off the ground a little bit here. So it's going to make it a little bit easier for me. And yes, I have a great alternate height adjustment tool. I would recommend a ladder of some sort. You know, this is just me because I'm in the warehouse. But you're going to want to come up under here. Okay. And it's a little harder to see under here. But they have them under here also. Okay. These, unfortunately, are going to be, I think, if I'm mistaken, they're clips. Okay. And how does that one come out? Okay, you want to pull the clip out. See, there's your clip. That one, unfortunately, the cap is missing on top of it. But there's a cap in there. Okay. And like I said, it's a little hard to see. Okay. And that one's, see, that one's empty. This one's empty. And that one, I can't see real well yet. So let's get the light out. And you want to make sure they're all out before you start yanking on it. Now, if you look at this one, see, there's no cap there. The form is the same, but there's no actual cap there, okay? So this one would actually have a piece of plastic over it that's actually going to fit in there quite nicely. You'll just go pop, and it comes right out, okay? Let me turn my light off. Okay. And you want to pull... From the side that has the caps in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this thing back here on the bottom. Okay. We're going to clip it in. We're going to pull, and we're going to drop, just like that. Okay. See, real easy, real basic. And see, there's even magnets to help hold it in place. Okay, they'll actually help hold this in place. And then put the new one back in. Okay. Line it back up. 
Yeah, it's easier, easier said than done sometimes. Okay, give it a little, little pop, make sure you're back in place. Okay, and then remove your, oh, without doing that. Okay, so we're gonna put this back up in here. Okay, push it back in. And unfortunately this is broken, but we're still gonna throw it in just because, and then you'll take it and you'll pop it right back in place and you're good to go. This is what can happen if you don't do it the correct way or use one of these properly. This is what can happen to your piece of glass. Okay, so make sure we do it the proper way and don't just start at it. And with the proper tools, you can change this thing in almost as fast as I can change my shirt. Now, if you don't know what another screwdriver to use, please call a professional to do this for you because if not, you're gonna end up with a busted glass and then no one's gonna be happy. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and give us a bunch of likes and have a good day.